Hello, welcome back. Are you guys ready to work out? You know the drill, and we're gonna start by walking in place. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Grandma Gaines, that's Lagertha, and this is Bohippian Life. I am a reselling grandma. I'm not a fitness anything. So if you're interested in reselling, I have links in the description box below as well as an email, and what else? All sorts of links. So, again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you stick around and you work out with us. Um, we always start with a warm up, basically four steps. Walking in place, kicks, knee lifts, and side steps. Not necessarily in that order. Now, because I am not a professional, any tips and advice I give to you has been given to me by you guys, my viewers, and I am just passing it along. So tip number one, core tight all the time. Tip number two, never hold your breath. Tip number three, release the tension in your shoulders. I know, girlfriend, and I like to say take it a step farther and unclench your fists and uncurl your toes. I think somebody wants to go outside. Yeah, okay, let's go. Go outside, girlfriend. All right. Uh, so we probably will not get through this workout before we have to stop again. But hey, if she wants in, she wants in. So let's do some side steps. And again, core tight, but never holding your breath. Arms at your sides. Shoulder, or shoulders, oh my goodness. Elbows close to your sides but you're not using any muscle control to hold them there. They're just gently resting at your sides. And back to walking in place. In between every exercise, we always come back to walking in place. This is our home position. Um, when I say relax or rest, uh, at rest, it is always right back here to walking in place. And when we do, we always pump our arms back and forth. Never up and down. That is a wasted movement. And it, it does nothing for your body. So back and forth. Let's, let's throw in some kicks. Because we're warming up not too fast and not too high. So today's workout will be a shorter workout a mile-ish and to let you guys know ahead of time I will not be here tomorrow we are having a nice long weekend I'm so excited so you'll have to check out the playlists or all of my recent uploads you can catch up there back to walking and you know for your workout check out my workouts playlist back to walking in place the last move are knee lifts. Now sometimes in our workout we'll throw in a new move here and there. I'll do the best I can to let you know ahead of time. But I'm working out right along with you. And a lot of times the next move is a total surprise. <laughs> or I'm just out of breath and I can't even get it out. <sighs> Core tight. Don't hold your breath. Good posture. And back to walking. <sighs> Deep breaths in and out. Uncurl your toes. And as always, I am tracking. I will leave those numbers in the description box as well. Make sure you have water and a towel. <clears throat> we, will, we will need them. So if at any time you need something to drink, grab your drink. If at any time any of these exercises just seem to be too much, come right back to walking in place, pumping the arms back and forth until you get your breathing under control. And then jump into the next exercise. Side steps. 
Now you know this move. We just did it together. Good posture. Never locking those knees. And as your body warms up and your heart rate starts to climb, you can increase your pace when you are ready. That's what's so great about our workouts. You can modify them for your fitness level. Back to walking in place. <clears throat> Core tight, kicks, not too high, not too fast. And because I will not be here on Friday, I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time, or remind you I should say, back to walking, don't forget to take your days off. Now we, I usually have Saturday and Sunday, unless we're doing, you know, a hike, a walk, anything, um, a family thing, that's, then yes, knee lifts. But when it comes to our workouts, no, Saturday and Sundays, <sighs> deep breath in and out, our days off, days to relax, recuperate, let your muscles repair themselves. Back to walking in place. Now we're gonna gradually kick it up a notch. Just a little bit, pick it up a notch. I said gradually, I meant just pick it up a notch. <laughs> just a little bit. And side steps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Core tight. I'm <sighs> back to walking. Never holding your breath. Pumping those arms back and forth. Now at the beginning I said we are going to do a one-ish mile. <clears throat> and what I mean is, number one, everybody's fitness level is different. So somebody's going to have way more steps. Let's throw some more kicks in. Opposite hand, opposite foot. So somebody with a higher fitness level is probably gonna have a lot more numbers. They're gonna be moving faster than somebody with a um, not quite as high fitness, le fitness level. And back to walking, not only that, feet nice and wide, um, our height kickbacks here. Our height, our stride, everything. Oh my gosh, my legs are oh, sore from yesterday. We're going to do that pulley system, arms out in front. Oh, this helps keep your form and pull just a couple. Oh, I know. And pull. Okay, we're good. Back, two forward, two back. Sorry about that. I hear her bark, stay right here, and I have to look, just in case. But let's do some side steps again. But the neighbor dogs are just out, or not out, but saying good morning to her. arms core tight never locking your knees or your elbows you guys concentrate on your breathing we're going into doubles if you have the room step out nice and wide if not use whatever room you have
and back to walking right here. Deep breath in and out. Those legs are thanking you for coming right back to this walk position and kick. And opposites again. So, core tight, good posture, which means shoulders in line with the hips. And kick, 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 and back to walking. <sighs> Knee lifts, opposites. Again, core tight, good posture. Don't hold your breath. <sighs> and back to walking. So, <clears throat> I have just under 10 miles forward and back to finish my September challenge for Stop Soldier Suicide. So, I am going to get them completed. <sighs> Hopefully, today and tomorrow. I'm super excited. Back to walking. Push, pull. Push, pull. Push, pull, muscle control, core tight. And relax those arms. Whew. Concentrate on your breathing. Feet nice and wide. Kickbacks again. These kickbacks are so good for your legs. Arms up. Pull, pull, pull. You're like, what? This is a different direction. I know it. And back to walking here. Deep breath in and out. Spike to the heart rate. Just a little bitty spike. Makes you feel great. So back to that one-ish mile. You never know what you're going to get at the end. <sighs> Depends on your fitness level. <sighs> Whew. Kickbacks again. Hands on your hips. Simply lift your heel behind you. And back to walking in place. <sighs> How about some tap outs? Simply tapping your foot out to the side. Core tight. <sighs> nice little bend to the knees. And back to walking. <sighs> Arms again. Push, pull out in front. Core tight, muscle control. <sighs> Never holding that breath and relax. Whew. Going back in two side steps, you guys. <clears throat> Arms. Keep going. <sighs> Don't give up. I know those muscles are burning. <sighs> we got this. A few more seconds. <sighs> and back to walking in place. <sighs> Sometimes that countdown <sighs> doesn't move fast enough. Two forward, two back. Just 
staying right here. <sighs> nice fast pace. Pumping those arms back and forth. Core tight. <sighs> Feet nice and wide. <sighs> Kickbacks again, you guys. Simply lift the heel behind you. Arms out in front. Pull, 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 pull. Breathe, breathe. Never hold your breath. And back to walking. Whew. We're gonna get this workout done lickety split, man. <sighs> Knee lifts, opposites, <sighs> core tight. <sighs> Going into doubles. So feet from a wider position. Two, one, two. Make sure that foot is hitting the floor every time. One more this side and this side. Back to walking. Ah, deep breath in and out. You're doing great. Ah. Kicks. And back to walking. <sighs> We're gonna go into double side steps right off the bat. So keep them small <clears throat> until you get your path of motion <sighs> figured out and you're comfortable. And then step out wider, step out a little faster Never locking those knees. And back to walking right here. Core tight. <sighs> Two forward. Staying right here. A little bit of a boost because we're doing such a short one. And walking, two forward, two back. Staying right here. Deep breath in and out. Set my timer one more time. And go. We're not doing a whole bunch of running, just a little bit. Just to bring that heart rate up a little bit more.
Make sure you're planting your heel in the floor. No cheating, no running on your tippy toes. in and out. Doing great. Sweating, huh? Starting to sweat, right? I know, me too. Whew. Back of my legs are super tight. Cannot wait for a cool down and stretch. Man. Keep picking those feet up. When you get that muscle that's super, super tight, you get that leg that cramps up, the only way to get rid of it truly is to walk your way, exercise, work your way through it. Whew, side steps. Concentrate on your breathing. Whew. Slowing our pace. Ah, going into cool down mode. That's right. Keeping our steps smaller <sighs> and not as fast. This lets our body know that it is done exercising. It's done its job. <sighs> Back to walking. <sighs> Deep breath in and out. Two forward. Two back. Oh my gosh, guys, do not skip the cool down. This is super important to bring your heart rate back to normal or as close to normal as you can before you start your stretch. <sighs> Walking in place. Whew. Being super careful not to spike that heart rate back up. At this point in our workout, or our cool down, um, it's very easy to increase your speed, just like that. But we want to bring it down. <sighs> Mini knee lifts. Oh yeah, this is nice. Really feels good on the legs. Back to walking in place. Whew. Then we're going to do some kicks. Low and not too fast. Now make sure you are visualizing a ball, like a kickball, soccer ball, and kick it. Kick it. Kick. 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 That way you are moving them. Uh, using the muscles in the back of your legs and you're not doing a leg lift. I want you to do a kick. So again, if you visualize the ball and you kick it, it helps keep your form to ensure you're doing a proper um, exercise. Back to walking. Yeah, I'm sure there's more technical term than what I just used. <laughs> oh, feet nice and wide, you guys. Time to stretch. <sighs> Toes angled slightly out. Bend to the knees. Again, we never lock our knees or our elbows. Inhale up. Exhale down. And I will let you know when you have one left. Up. 
at your own pace. Up. Never skip the stretch. One more. Your body requires, oh, your muscles beg to be stretched. Turn to your left, right leg out behind you, heel firmly planted in the floor. Take a peek down, make sure everything's pointing the same way. So toes, hips, shoulders, eyes facing the same way. Deep breath in, body weight forward, imaginary wall, heel firmly planted in the floor. Again, core tight, never holding your breath. And stretch. Feels so good on the back of the calf. Bring both hands to your bent thigh, going even deeper into this stretch. Core tight, eyes forward. Putting your hands on your bent thigh supports your lower back. This way you're not asking the wrong muscles to support your lower back. Slide your hands forward to your knee. Nice deep stretch. Eyes forward. Breathe into this stretch. You feel this on the back of your bent thigh or bent leg. And other direction. Get into position, nice wide step back. Make sure everything's pointing the same way. Hands up, body weight forward. Oh gosh, this side is my worst side. Oh my goodness, oopsies. Breathe into this, stretch your muscles. Uncurl your toes, you guys. It's not the carpet's fault we decided to do this. Hands to your thigh. <laughs> Feels great. Said no sane person ever, right? <laughs> Hands to your thigh. I'm kidding. But truly, if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? It is not easy. Even just getting these short little miles in. Some, it's super hard sometimes to find time to do this. And that is it, you guys. You're the best. Thank you so much for working out with me. Don't forget, I won't be here Friday, tomorrow, so you are on your own. Check out my playlist. I will try to remember to link it in one of the bottom corners. And um, so... Friday, you're on your own. Saturday and Sunday is rest, recuperate, and let those muscles recover. <clears throat> I hope you have the best weekend ever. Give yourself a pat on the back. You are amazing. You've done great things this week. If, if nobody tells you, listen, let me say it again. You have done amazing things this week. And I can't wait to see you next week. Again, I hope you have the best weekend ever, and I will see you in the next video.